Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd, and I have been a professional photographer photographing families for over a decade. And I know that one of the hardest things about this is getting everyone dressed out of the house, the kids to stop fighting, dad away from the TV. The last thing you need is more stress when it comes to picking outfits. So I have brought my good friend Abby along to help you make your life that much easier. Hi, I'm Abby Young, professional wardrobe stylist, and I'm gonna give you one of the most important strategies for family photos. You wanna make sure you look cohesive, but at the same time, showing that your family is made up of individuals. Exactly. So I don't want everybody in the same white shirt and jeans holding hands skipping down the beach, because unless that's something your family actually does for funsies, that doesn't exist in real life, and you don't need to look like clones in your photo shoot. Now, if you all wear the same sports jersey, military uniform, totally cool, all wear the same thing. But even still, we want you to all look like individuals. Since you're not all wearing the same clothes, here's a great way to go about choosing the colors for your outfits. Choose colors that are in the same family, such as blue, baby blue, and navy. Another thing that you can do is coordinate with cool colors, such as green, blue, or gray, or coordinate with warm tones, such as red, yellow, or orange. And when choosing the colors of your outfits, consider the background. If your family loves wearing green, you probably shouldn't do your shoot in a park where everything is green. Unless you wanna wear camouflage and blend in, then by all means, go for it. But check with your photographer and make sure your location is not gonna turn you into a bunch of floating heads during your photo shoot. Now that you've got the colors figured out, let's talk about patterns. We wanna avoid all busy patterns because you don't wanna look like a 90s dance video. You don't wanna look like the Partridge Family bus or like the confetti explosion at the end of the Super Bowl because all of those things are going to distract from your faces and your faces are what we want to see in the photos. So what should you choose? Mm, it's important to have a timeless wardrobe. Make sure your outfit is not tied to any specific season or holiday. So when we see it hanging on the wall, we don't see Christmas in July. We want it to look good all year round. One more thing to keep in mind is bringing your clothes wrinkle free because this is one thing that can't be Photoshopped. So again, we want this to be a fun, seamless process. We know you have 10 million things on your plate already. We don't want dressing your family to be one more burden that you have. I really hope this video helped you pick out outfits for your family portraits. If you have any more questions, we are more than happy to help. We want you to succeed. So our contact info is down below. Feel free to reach out and we can help you choose the perfect outfits for your session. 